The code for children is secure and didn't mean to any charge against children under 18 as a such jurisdiction under the Children's Act 2001 or any other straighten law. In the magistrate court, you probably with the less server of cases. Uh, however, their sentences power are limited. In the next uh, session, cost is a highest criminal cost, higher criminal court in a district, and the court and a, and the court of first inter, instance for trying serious offence. May hear and appeal from the civil judgments of an appellate court if, if the court, uh, federal court permit it to do so. The, the, the court of appeals generally hear all serious appeals against decisions of the high court as an appeal against judgment or order made by persons. Mentioned to a high court and generally uh, supervisory and amendment jurisdiction or all over all lower courts and have jurisdiction to hear a person from lower courts and in severe and criminal cases. Now I want to present the part one. Which court do you think should Alex be charged and tried? Give reason. In this case, Alex should be charged under the Child Act 2001 and tried in court for children due of underage. Alex is classified by law into child because he is 17 years old which is under the age of 18 years old. So, in this case, Alex is classified in child under age 18 years old and he had sexual intercourse with the victim, Sarah, which is under the age 16 years old. He may even be said to have committed as a crime of rape. From state to state, stationary rape crimes can range from minimum to serious felonies, depending normally on the age of the victim and the age difference between the offender and victim. Thank you. Good day, sir. I represent the part two of Alex Cash. However, it was a drug serious crime in the Alex Cash because he had already met Sarah Bennett but had not married her. Under Malaysian law of section 375, a man who is said to commit rape shall be punished for a term which may extend to 20 years and shall also be able to work writing. He was a sexual intercourse with a woman under any of the following circumstances A. Against her will B. Without her consent C. With or without her consent when she is under 18 years old At the end, I think Alex should be sent to Henry Journey School based on the five power broken Sarah. Thank you. Good day, sir. So for question B2, would our discussion be any different if they are both Muslim? In our opinion, I think that it is. Alex will be charged under Penal Code Section 375, E, F, and G. Under circumstances, falling under any condition of the following. For the 375E, with her concern at the time of giving such concern, she is unable to understand the nature and consequences. For F, when concern is obtained by using his position of authority over her, because of professional relationship or other relationship of trust and in, in, in relationship of her. And lastly, 375G, with or without her concern, when she is under 16 years old, Alex will be charged under rape. Next, both of them will charge Act 559 Sharia criminal offense, predator terrorist Act 1997. Part 4 Offenses Relative to the CC. Section 33 Sexual Intercourse Out of Wedlock. <coughs> so, first, any man or woman who performs the sexual intercourse with a woman who is not his lawful wife shall be guilty of offense. Fine 5,000 or imprisoning, one three year or whipping, three stroke or any compulsion. The second is woman is pregnant out of wedlock as the result with her concern shall be primal patient evident under subsection 2 by the woman. The third is uh, any woman who gives the birth to a fully developed child with six Kilmaria month for marriage that shall be then pregnant out of wedlock. Thank you.